cities, Zagreb and Split. Dinamo Zagreb from the capital, the most successful team in Croatian football, now looking for an 11th straight league title. Hajduk Split from the Dalmatian coast, six times champions of the Croatian league. The Blues against the pride of Dalmatia. Croatia's eternal derby. It's called the eternal derby because these are two traditional clubs in Croatia who have been playing for years at a really high level, who are always at the top of Croatian football. The interest in these two clubs is very high. It was like that in the past and it'll be like this for many years to come. These are two of the biggest clubs in the history of Croatian football. And during the time of former Yugoslavia, they were part of the big four, Partizan, Red Star, and of course, Dinamo and Hajduk. So it's about the biggest clubs with the richest history, who've won the most trophies, with the best players, with the most support, and strong ties with the fans. In the week of the Dinamo Hajduk derby, Zoran Mamic surveys his squad and makes his final tactical decisions. He leaves his players in no doubt about the magnitude of this match. We're motivated. We've given everything in training to prepare for Hajduk and to get a good result. On behalf of the players, I would like to say that we are very proud and feel privileged to play in the Croatian derby. It's the biggest derby and it's an honour to walk out at the stadium. We get goosebumps when we see all the supporters that come. Before every derby, of course there is a feeling of great excitement. It's the biggest derby in Croatia. It's electric. At the same time, we go into this derby with great hope. After playing a cup tie in Zagreb in midweek, Hajduk Split decided to stay in the capital. Three more nights in enemy territory. But this meant a unique chance for Damir Buric to focus his players' minds. It's indescribable, playing in the Croatian derby against one of Croatia's biggest clubs, our biggest rivals. It's full of energy and quite emotional. It is very emotional, but we need to go out there with clear heads and courageous hearts. We have to take the field and demand everything from ourselves, whatever happens. I'll tell them to conduct themselves the way they did during training and during their last match, to be disciplined and to stick to our game plan. I'll also tell them that everything will be OK and that I'll always believe in them. We want to win the match. We want to take first place once again. That's where we believe we've earned the right to be. So we'll do everything we possibly can to win the match. We have better quality, a better team, and I'm confident that we'll show that on the pitch. Hajduk lives forever. See you at the Maximir. No surrender. We're going to beat you at the Maximir. There's a white train coming to knock you down. Match day at the Maximir Stadium, and the players arrive. While Hajduk have made a short trip across the city, their fans have travelled from the coast in force. Hajduk is a religion, the most important thing in life. We all love our mother, our father, but we feel just as strongly about Hajduk. They can be first, fifth or even last, but will always remain my Hajduk. The Zagreb faithful arrived at the Maximir, but not in the huge numbers that Dinamo have been used to. Many fans are disillusioned with the president. This league meeting represented a chance for both clubs to go top of the table. And it was the travelling support from Split who were making most of the noise. But after only four minutes, Dinamo made the dream start. <laughs> One nil to the home team. The goal stung Hajduk into action. Tino Susic denied by Leonardo Sigali. A great last-ditch tackle. But they saw their pressure rewarded when Mio Kaktash fired home from the edge of the area. One-one. Coach Buric looked the coolest man in the stadium. 
Kaktash might have given Hajduk a half-time lead, but his shot sailed over the bar. Honours even at half-time, but the first half had been a moral victory for the away team. Who continued to dominate in the second half, Eduardo made a fine save from Nikola Vlasic. Into the final minute of added time, it looked as though both would have to settle for a draw. Step forward, Algerian, Hilal Elabi Sudani. Dinamo Zagreb had won the latest instalment of Croatia's eternal derby. It's always a very sweet victory when you win in the last minute like that. But we have to admit, Hajduk were really good today. But it's the three points that will matter tomorrow. People won't talk about the performance. It's the result that matters. Against Hajduk, it always means more than just three points. We have opened up a four-point gap, and the victory means so much to our supporters, to us, and the whole club.